All right, what we're going to do is we're going to select the horizontal ray as our way to identify these levels. And it, the first thing I do is I note where we are, all right? So here's price right now at 41.94. I want to concentrate on the profiles where price is likely to go. So I'm going to say, you know, maybe 100 or 200 points above and 100 or 200 points below. That's a good start. And so what I want to do, first of all, is identify where the nodes are and outline those. So I'll go and I'll find the steepest part of that node. It'll be somewhere in the vicinity. It's not exact, right? And I'm going to go on either side of it like that. Now, for nodes, I treat them a little bit differently. You'll notice that I'll have purple lines and yellow lines. Now, usually on nodes, I make those purple because I like purple. So let's make those purple so that when we're zoomed in, we know exactly what that line represents. All right, so there's the purple lines. Let's make them a little thicker so we know that they're nodes like that. We'll make them three points thick. All right, now we're going to to do the yellow lines for all the other features of the profile and all the other features are these super deep crevices okay so let's go to a super deep crevice right about here you can see it right there see where it goes down we're going to make that one yellow and we'll make that thinner all right so let's make a few more of those where all the crevices are put one right there now there's also something to be said for some of these other features anywhere where you see volume changing abruptly you really want one of these or one of these deep crevices so let's get them all in place there's one right here and that looks about it for now i mean i can go above and below here as i said we'll try to get all of these different things in place now this edge here is, is definitely significant also you know there's a node below here that isn't as well formed as the one that we have here but let's try to get its edge as well probably somewhere around there and, and the reason why we want to get those edges is because the act of either leaving a node or entering a node is pretty significant. You're going from a low liquidity area where there's an absence of volume to a high liquidity area where there's a lot of volume. So generally, you can think of the nodes as places where the market consolidates and the area in between is where the market is searching out new value or where it tends to trend. So things start slowing down in the thick and muckiness of the node and they speed up as they get into the lighter area, low volume areas of the anti-node or the low volume level or what we call the volume well. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's our volume profile that we have for today.